I'll leave for GIE tomorrow and Mr. Ben Sims himself will be here once we get back from GIE. He's going to be riding back with me and then hanging out at my place for a few days. We're also going to go on a small little trip to Minnesota. It should be fun. All that you will see in the videos that we come up with. But today I have to prepare the lawn because I won't be here until he gets back. So I want to make sure everything's looking in tip top shape when he arrives. So today I'll probably apply a few liquids, try to make some things pop a little more than they are. Although it is looking good in general, it's just that we're getting down to 30s for temps now. So that has slowed things a lot. Overall, things look good. I just need to add some more stripes, clean up things, and probably do some liquids as I said. I also took out the 10 blade reel and just put in the 6 blade. I was cutting pretty low with this thing. With the 10, which is really what it's designed for, is low, low cuts and frequently. So I'm going to see how this one does with the 6 since I'm moving back up to a slightly higher height. Probably use two Swordmans at the same time with Ben and hopefully we'll get some cool footage out of that. So I think what I'm going to do is try to follow this same pattern over here with this right here and line that up. It's never easy to do, so let's see if I can do it. I think it turned out okay, but man, it is just not growing. Sad, sad times right now. It's just not growing much at all. So I anticipate I will not mow this again for a week by the time I get back from GIE, go on our small trip up to Minnesota and come back. So Ben and I will probably mow this next Monday, a week from today. So I will let it go until then and see how much it grows. But right now, slow going didn't really take a whole lot off of there but I did add some stripes that look good and uh, I think they should hold the ones in the front yard are holding and now I need to make a decision whether I need, really need to mow the front yard which I don't but I kind of want to hmm yeah 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 I'm just gonna have to do it So did I really need to mow that? No, I most certainly did not need to. I'm hoping that in a week's time, Ben and I will have something to cut off of this. I don't know what's going to happen with that. It's so slow right now, just very, very slow. But you can still add some stripes. So I will present to him this sissy grass right here. He's seen it quite often as he has it in his yard. He knows what the best type of grass is, unlike some people that we know. I'm just hoping there's something left to cut but in a week's time, he and I will find out. I think I've had this little monster long enough, so I will present this to someone at GIE, which I'm not gonna tell you right now, of course, so you'll have to find out on the video from GIE, but I'm gonna give this to someone. They will present it in their yard, just like I have, after Ben has sent it to me, and they have to give it a little
I think those edges right there are looking... So there's still time to apply some liquid. I'm going to work on applying a couple of doses here of fertilizer today. Just some small doses of nitrogen and possibly probably using some of this lawn energizer which is iron based. The color is holding pretty well right now but if I can give it a slight bit more pop that would be cool. First off I want to thank all of you who have purchased one of these lawn essential boxes here. I got a lot of pictures and videos and stuff from people opening these up that got one so thank you so much for the support. If you are looking to get one of these or you're more interested in figuring out more about it I have a video on that from a few weeks ago and also there's a link here in the description to check out this box. The holidays are coming up so I know the end of the season is coming but you could look at something like that as a gift for someone too which would be awesome. We'll be using the lawn food and the humic and then I think I'm. this is a different product that is not in the box but it is one that I have tried as well. This is more of a starter type fertilizer and I have not applied too much fertilizer to the area out near the street so I'm going to use this growth booster today on that part. See if I can push more root growth on that yet. It has slowed a lot just like everything else. For the most part today I'm going to use lawn food and then a few areas I think I will also hit with the lawn energizer which is the iron based stuff. So probably lawn food, lawn energizer on the front and side. Then the reno areas I'm probably just going to add in some lawn food and also the humic. So I'm going to apply some of this lawn food first. I'm going to let that sit on the leaves of the grass for just a few minutes while I move to the rest of the yard and then I will come back to it and I will apply the humic over top of it to water everything in. I'm using a hose end sprayer so technically it's kind of watering it in as I do that anyway. I will let it sit on the grass leaves as much as possible. It will take in the fertilizer then I will come back and apply the humic. So I'm going to spray this growth booster here on this section out by the street. This has humic fulvic already in it, so I will not need to spray that afterwards again. I mean, you probably could, but there's really no reason to do a double dose. So that's just the only difference here. This section is still lagging along. It will be fine over time next spring, but I want to give it a slight boost right now. I just finished spraying the lawn energizer over here so I have lawn food done, lawn energizer done on the front and the side and I didn't do any lawn energizer on the north side or on the street section. Ooh, I got some smells going on now. Now it's time for the humic stuff and I'm gonna do this section last. I will go do the north section first, move to the front, move to this last and as I said with the hose end. I am kind of watering it in at the same time. That's what I want to do is water in that humic so that it gets down to the soil layer and that should work well. Okay, so spraying is done. I think I'm going to just try to mow the backyard with the Time Master. Maybe I'll have Ben try to add some extra stripes to it when he gets here. But I think I'm going to try to mow it at two inches with the Time Master, see if anything gets cut off. I don't really know how tall it is right now. I haven't measured it, but I'm going to give it a shot.
Alright, there it is. Two inch height of cut, no striping kit. Still have some stripes, so I'm pretty happy with that. I really like cutting with the reel mower back here, but also, as I've mentioned before, having the suction of the Time Master, which does a great job pulling up all that grass that doesn't get cut every time with a reel mower and then cutting it off cleanly. I really like the way that it looks. It's been a fun day today preparing, getting some mowing in, getting some spraying down of some liquid fertilizer and humic and all that. Stay tuned here for what happened on our trip and Ben actually coming to my house and checking out my yard and mowing and we'll see what other fun stuff we can get into. Thanks so much for watching this video. We'll see you next time.